Hello, welcome to the Looney Live. Sorry, it's really echoey in here. I'm gonna have to tone it down a little. Well, today I've got lots to sort out because I've had my room done, finally. Wardrobes are in. Obviously, I still need to paint. They did tell me not to paint until they were in. But now I'm wishing I had have painted before they were in and just touched up after. But never mind, I have got some like sticky plastic stuff that I can put on the wardrobes to protect it when I paint. And I'm a pretty decent painter, like I've, I've always been quite good at it. So um, yeah, sometimes it gets messy, but if I put my mind to it and I'm in like a calm mood, then I'll be able to do it. So just gotta wait for one of those days. <laughs> Come uh, far, few and far between to be fair, but we'll see. Anyway. Worst comes to the worst, we've got the plastic. Right, we're going off track. Today we're going to sort the wardrobes out, okay? So, I've got a few bags from my mum's, not very many at all. I have got so many more to do. I'm hoping to throw away a lot today. Uh, and then, yeah, like, keep going to my mum's and collecting more stuff. But I thought I would do a bit today, and then the next time I do some, maybe I can film that as well. But by then... I think that the room will be full because I'll have the bed back in. We haven't put a big suitcase downstairs that needs to come up and done. I forgot all about that. Oh, dreading that. Um, and then, yeah, these two bags. I'm going to get a cup of coffee before I start. Okay, so we'll be back in a minute. So I've got my coffee. I'm going to need it. I say that, but it's um, decaf, so it's not going to do much. Uh, I just really like a hot drink in the morning and I don't drink tea. So um, I have a decaf coffee instead because I really like the taste of coffee and yeah, so that's what I do. Uh, right, anyway, I can't drink that yet because I can't drink hot drinks. I have to wait until they've gone cold, well cool because of my gum. And um, it's been so irritated recently. I'm just, I've had like three weeks of just solid pain. Today is the only day I'm not feeling any pain. The day they put the painkiller stuff in, right, so let me tell you, oh god, here's another whole other story. Let me move it down so we can sit on my knees. Okay, whole, whole other story, but I'm going to quickly tell you so you get the gist of what's been going on. This is why I had in that active year. I had a tough heart because I had really bad toothache. I was supposed to have a root canal, but they couldn't get me in for like a month and I was in agony, well, two months at the time and gone. I've had this pain since December and they couldn't get me in until March. And I was in agony, I'm not even joking, like, it was so painful, it was like going through me, it was all in my jaw, my nose, like, my nose was blocked because of how painful it was. Some days were worse than others, like, some days it was just throbbing and I could feel it, the irritation, and then other days I could just, I couldn't do anything, like, but sleep. Um, eating was painful, talking was painful, it was just horrible. Anyway, um... I had the tooth out and then I thought, oh well, it should get better gradually, it got worse. So I had to go back to the dentist, uh, they found out that I've got like dry sockets, so that's when the clock comes away, when your scab comes away and your bone, the jaw bone is, and your nerves are exposed. Sorry, Boris is playing with um, one of my ASMR pieces of equipment. And I've tried to take it off him once and he's already like gone back in the room and took it out the bag again so I'm just leaving him to it. Anyway, <laughs> that's what was causing more pain. Um, so they put some little like stuff in that was like a pain relief but I still felt the pain that day. The next day I was still getting throbbing. Um, it relieved it a little bit though, I've got to say I was like actually I want some more of this <laughs> if it comes out but today it's not that bad at all. It, it's still a bit irritated, but really not not as it was. And I can talk and I'm feeling better. So yeah, okay, that's it the way. We've got no tooth there at the moment. Might have an implant later on. I'll just see. I'll see how many people notice my gap in videos. If it makes me paranoid, then I'll get it done. If people mention it in real life, then I'll definitely get it done. <laughs> uh, but for now, I'm not really that bothered. I just want it to heal, I just want to feel better because I've been in so much pain. I just wanted it out. I felt like ripping it out myself, that's how bad it was. You know what toothache's like, it just makes you want to grit something, you know. On the way back from the dentist, 
the, when I had it out, I was in agony, like so much pain. I wanted to bite my steering wheel. I'm not even kidding. Like I could have, but I didn't. And it was weird because like the nerves in my foot were making me break harsh. And I had to drive back on my own because there's no one else. And I was stuck in traffic and just sitting there. Like it, it's just so hard to just sit there when you got pain like that. I was, I just really wanted to get out, leave my car in traffic and just walk. The amount of times that was just running through my head, like, just get out, just get out and walk. And I was like, I can't do in traffic. Like, <laughs> shouting at myself, just trying to keep my mind off it. It was horrible, absolutely horrible. So I would advise, if anyone's going to have a tooth out, roof canal, anything, don't drive there yourself. My friend even texted me, like, just as I was leaving, saying, do you want me to take you? And I was like, I'm just leaving now. So we, I wouldn't have got there otherwise because of traffic and that and the diversions around here. So... <sighs> And I've learned for the next time. Hopefully I'll never have to have another tooth out again. I hope I don't. Right. Anyway, let's get back to the clothes. Bloody hell. We spent five minutes talking about that. But I'm, I rarely do these videos. <laughs> I say I'm going to be like good. And then I, uh, I end up posting like once every month or something. Once every two weeks sometimes. Like this time. But yeah, right. I'm just going to whack them all out here. Uh, you know what, let me sweep first. All the pretty girls work like this, 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 this. Okay. Uh, got that song in my head because I've done one this morning. No, anyway. Uh, we're going to lift you back up, I think. We'll see. Maybe tilt you a little bit. You might not be able to see me for a while. Don't miss me too much. And then I'll be back in a sec. I'll just come back in my tights, but uh, it still fits. So we're going to keep this one because I do really love it. It's my favourite. I love the colours and it's great for autumn. So I have had it a few years, but if it's not damaged, don't throw it away. Even though I am really trying to throw things away right now. I thought I'd just keep it on. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Even though the colours are quite similar, it's very clashy, but we're going to deal with it, okay? Right. <sighs> Now, I got this from Sheen not long ago. It's gone a bit bubbly already, but I do really like it and it's really warm. So, of course, I'm going to keep this one. Probably needs a wash because it's one of the six that I've been wearing. So, I'll keep it and wash it. So, this is going to be the wash pile. This is... Um, a jumper that I got from Amazon for, with a gift card that someone got me. Someone sent me an Amazon gift voucher. That was really nice of them for Christmas. So uh, thank you very much. I bought this jumper and I really like it so we're not going to get rid of that. Um, bikini top. Oh, I've got the bottoms for these. They're already in the 
wardrobe. We're not going to get rid of this one because it's one of my favourites. Another of my favourite jumpers. This has shrunk, but I really like the sounds of this, so we're not getting rid of this because I use it in ASMR videos sometimes. And I do wear it out even though I've shrunk it. Because I really like it, it's pretty. Princessy vibes. Now I'm back straight. I will do um, a try on haul as well. Maybe the things I've kept. I'll be keeping this because I love the sounds for the ASMR videos. I was also gifted these, but they do need a wash. This also needs washing. It's from Tesco. Uh, it's new, so I'll be keeping that. My sister bought me this, so I'll be keeping this. I'm chucking this because it's shrunk and not very good. I got this for Christmas. Be keeping this. Oh, I forgot to tell you about these. I bought these. They're fur-lined trousers. Well, jeans. Fur-lined jeans. Absolutely amazing for the winter. Bloody love them. Like I say, I will do a try on all now. We're getting back straight, so I'll show you what they look like on. Oh, love them. Sorry, I just realised that one of my windows is open. He's blowing a gale. I had no idea. And Boris has just gone into the cupboard. <laughs> skirt that I wear this with it's like a summer top um, I have no idea where I'm putting my gym stuff yet I don't even know where all my gym stuff is I thought it would be in here some of it is this top years as well it's something I really struggle to part with I had this from H&M and um, yeah it's still too pretty to go I still love it it's a crop top long sleeve crop top and I'd really rarely wear it but uh, sometimes I do so <sighs> do I get rid what would I even wear it with these days probably jeans which I rarely wear jeans because they're uncomfortable you need like black jeans you know what I need more of those legging jeans that look like jeans for the leggings <laughs> that's all I need more of maybe I'll keep it for that then maybe I will get some oh my merchandise my aim is probably to keep like one pair of jeans like well a black pair of jeans and a blue pair of jeans, maybe three pairs of jeans, I'm hoping. Because honestly, I've lived so easily with no clothes <laughs> and now I feel like... But then again, I have missed different clothes. It's just this fight <laughs> with myself. Because sometimes when you wear the same thing, you just feel a bit like... Meh. I have got to try and just not hoard so much 
and just yeah I'm too much I need storage that's what I need I need a building where I can just visit every day a storage room that's what I need maybe storage is not far from me actually that might be something to look into hmm no, because that's an excuse to buy more clothes. We've established that we're not going to do that anymore. Another one of my favourite bikinis. Hotville sent me these and they're honestly so nice. They fit so good. And this one really makes my boobs look good. And they really ain't much to work with. So, you know, when they look good, you have to thank the item. <laughs> and I, I just really enjoy their high waisted bottoms. And the colours in these are just beautiful. This is my favourite one, I think. Then again, I don't know, because I really like that pink stripe one as well. But I really like how that makes my body look. Anyway. <gasps> I found my webcam! In a suitcase full of clothes. I was looking for that for my life. We're all going on a some holiday. For a week or two. <laughs> These socks. I was like, Terry, I've got a pair of your socks. And she was like, they are not my socks. I've never seen those socks in my life. And I was like, well, they're not my socks. They're definitely your socks. Found out they're Lucy's socks. And I still haven't told Lucy that I've got her socks. Lucy, if you watch this video, I've got your socks. <laughs> These are my favourite shorts ever. They're, there's not very much of them. Like they are ripped and torn, but they fit so well, and they're and they're so soft. They're from Dolls Kill. They sent to me, and honestly, best shorts that have ever fitted me ever. Uh, I need another. These are from New Look. They're quite nice, they would be quite nice. Uh, still fit me. The colour is a little bit off now, but I'm not sure if that's how I'm meant to be actually. They seem to be because they're kind of worn in unusual places. Okay, so there's this one. Or there's, oh god, these fit so good and they're so much more comfy. So we're still doing the ripped jean thing, I'm sorry. It's not going away yet, please don't make it go away. <laughs> these are, they're so much more stretchy and just, yeah, these feel so much better. How do they look though, actually? Because if they feel good but look shit, then they gotta go, aren't they? Really? Not sure. Not sure about this part. Or this part, they don't really, I don't know. I do prefer these for comfy, but I prefer the others for the way they look. Oh, hello, baby. Now I'm not sure what to do. I'll watch this back and I'm sure I'll decide then. But for now, we'll keep them both. Uh oh. That's not what we wanted to do today, but we're doing it. We're doing it! We're doing it! Actually, I'm not even going to change. I ain't enough half about it like that. We've got too much to do. This is another top that I've had four years. I think I've had this, well, not four years, like four, as in four years. I've had it four years, not for years. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, I've had it around probably about. God, it's embarrassing, but maybe nine years, eight years, <laughs> gotta be. I got this from H&M as well, um, and I really love it. I can't, I can't get rid of it because I wear it a lot. It's like one of my comfy things in spring, and even like the cold, cooler summer days and the summer nights. So, yeah, I'm not getting rid of this. I can't. <laughs> I just can't do it. I 
my shorts. I might get rid of these now. I really liked them. But I think I'm over them now. They are really good casual shorts. But honestly, I don't think I'll wear them again. Until the summer, and I'll be like, oh, where did I put them shorts? No, they're going. They're going. We're getting rid. We're getting. <laughs> I'm doing it. They're gone. They're gone. The fold was always a bit weird. So, yeah, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do that anymore. What are these? What are these jeans? These are from next. I think yeah, next. As far as I know, they're a good fit. Let me try them. These. We're keeping these too. They're really nice. So which ones are we going to get rid of, baby? Because I do really like these ones. I think we're going to get rid of these ones because these are a bit lower. They're comfy, but they're low. And I had them years. They were from Primark, I think. No, these were from H&M as well. Um. Oh, sorry, baby. No, we're getting rid. We're going. They're going. They're going. They're going. And these are really comfy, right? But again, I think we're over the ripped jeans. Apart from the black pair, I think. I think these are going. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Bye. Oh my God. And then these are another pair from Next. And these are really comfy. Apart from they are a bit tight around the waist, they don't give much stretch here, which I need some stretch here. They're not that old either, but I saw a picture of me in them the other day and I was like, oh God, no, I look 50. I'm not, I can't wear them again, so. <laughs> Bye! We're getting rid of those. They're going. I thought I liked them at the time. I did like them at the time, um, but now, I'm over them. I'm over them. I think I'll keep this. I've had this like years as well. I think I've had this about as long as I've had my YouTube channel, not this channel, my ASMR channel, so at least five years. I think this was from Primark, yeah, it was. But it's a good little summer top, you know, when you just barely want to wear anything. It's cute. Wow, I've done better than I thought I would. I'm keeping this skirt as well because it goes with a lot of stuff. I mainly use it for um, my Psycho X characters, but sometimes I'll go out in it because uh, I do really like a skirt that's like tight around the waist, quite high waist and then flary on the bottom because I just think it suits my figure the most. So we're keeping these for now, right, but I've still got lots of stuff at my mum's that still needs to be sorted. So. When I bring that here, I'm probably still going to get rid of some of the stuff that I've kept today. Just because I'm going to need to. Like, I can't. I can't anymore. I just can't with myself. I've got to get a grip. Okay, I've got to get a grip. Of, I've just got to let things go sometimes. Girl. So these are all the things that I've kept hanging in. Mainly summer clothes because I love summer clothes. I love dresses and things. I wish it was summer all the time. And then oof, I haven't even really done anything here. <laughs> um, I've put some trousers in, I've put some joggers in. But I really don't know what I'm going to do with this space yet. This is more stressful than the actual process. I think, no I'm lying, it's not. <laughs> I'm pleased with what I've done today though. I really have got rid of loads of stuff. So I am pretty pleased with that. I mean, four pairs of jeans, one pair of shorts, um, and like tops and things. I've got a new pair of shorts actually, but I'll save them actually for a try on all. Okay, so that's it from me today then. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what trousers to keep and stay uni.